Welcome to our Martin Masterclass. I'm Kat. And I'm Josie, and we're from Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. Today we're going to be talking about what a pine martin is and how you can identify them. Pine martins are one of our six native mustelids, mustelids being part of the weasel family. Here in the UK we have badgers, otters, polecats, stoats, weasels and pine martins. Pine martins are mainly arboreal. They're highly specialised to climbing, so they spend a lot of time up in the trees and off the ground away from predators. This native species was once widespread across much of Britain, but pressure from habitat loss and hunting meant that by the early 19th century, the population was entirely restricted to the Scottish Highlands, with small populations hanging on in northern England and mid Wales. Pine martins have that classic mustelid shape with long tubular bodies, but they have a more kind of foxy facial features, so more pointed nose and pointed ears. They weigh between one and a half and two and a half kilograms, which for you sourdough bakers out there, that's two and a half bags of flour. They're also about 50 centimetres long just in their body and head, but if you include their tail, they can reach up to about 70 centimetres in length. Pine martins are unique in their beautiful conker brown coloured coat, which historically made them a favourite for fur wearers. They also have a really distinctive yellow cream bib on their chest, which does not extend down to their underside. Each bib has a unique pattern of spots and freckles, just like the stripes on a tiger or the spots on a leopard, and so we can use this distinctive bib to identify individual animals. Martins also have these long fluffy tails, which act almost like insulating blankets when they're curled up, but they also aid in balance when climbing. Martins are mainly arboreal, spending large proportions of their time in trees. However, they do move large distances on the ground and do most of their hunting there too. But this climbing is only achieved through the semi-retractable claws that they have, one of their defining features. These semi-retractable claws sit between cat's claws, which are fully retractable, and dog's claws, which are always out. Martins are also very distinctive in their head shape, which is pointed and triangular. This matches nicely with their large triangular ears, which are very obvious compared to polecats and otters. This hearing is key for these animals to hunt. This hunting is only possible due to the carnivore dentition that pine martins possess. They're actually omnivores, eating nuts, berries and mushrooms when they're in season, but their diet is primarily made up of small mammals, especially voles. And pine martins do all of this hunting, climbing and pottering about on their own. They are solitary animals. If we do see pine martins in small groups of maybe two or three individuals, this is usually a female with her young, also known as kits, and they're probably still dependent on her and have not left home yet. And yet, even with all of these defining features, pine martins are still often confused with other mustelids. So let's have a look at some of the repeat offenders and talk you through some differences. Polecats are by far the most commonly confused animal with martins. They are of a similar size, shape and colour. They don't have a yellow bib though, instead having a sweet little bandit mask across the eyes. Plus they have smaller ears, tails, and you'd never catch them up a tree like this, Martin. Foxes can also be confused, especially if seen at night when you can't see their beautiful red coat. But as this video illustrates, foxes are much, much bigger than pine martins. Despite being part of the same family, stoats and weasels are much smaller than pine martins, rarely extending beyond 30 centimetres. They also have much shorter tails and their white chest patch extends all the way along their underside, whereas a pine martins finishes on its chest. You may think that squirrels couldn't be confused with pine martins, but when seen jumping through the trees, especially with that big long fluffy tail, a lot of people can think that it's a pine martin. Now why are we sending you videos about pine martins? Well Kat and I manage a pine martin reintroduction project in the Forest of Dean. This is a collaborative project delivered by Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust, Forestry England, Forest Research, Vincent Wildlife Trust and supported by the Woodland Trust and Forest Holidays. This is the first official pine martin reintroduction in England, with the aim that restored populations in England and Wales will join up in coming years and create a strong population of this recovering mustelid in the southwest of the country. A key part of this work is monitoring the recovery and expansion of the population, and we need volunteer help to cover a large area to help us keep track of these elusive little creatures. So make sure you're looking out for pine martins and more of our martin masterclasses. And if you want to know more about this wonderful animal and Project Pine Martin, please visit www.gloucestershirewildlifetrust.co.uk forward slash project dash pine dash martin.